Your Storm Track 7 forecast on KWWL. Good morning and thank you for logging on. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. We're tracking a fairly potent storm that will be affecting travel across the Midwest. That storm track will take it through Kansas and right up western Iowa, just avoiding us. Kind of does a weird thing where it backtracks a little bit and then gets attacked together and it'll start to push through Minnesota and into Wisconsin. Most of the snow will be on the northwest side of that. That's where there's winter storm warnings from northern Minnesota into parts of south and North Dakota, parts of Nebraska as well. Then on the fringes will be a winter weather advisory. That's where most of the snow will fall. We're going to be on the warm side of that, so we're going to track mainly rain showers through today and tonight. Early this morning, a chance for a wintry mix and some freezing rain north of Highway 30, so we could see some slick roadways, but the impacts for that still on the low side. Then for tonight and into tomorrow, that rain starts to come to an end. Tomorrow we're looking at mainly cloudy skies as temperatures will fall. We start to see a wind shift and temperatures will cool down. Then for Monday, a chance for some light snow. Again, we could see some minor accumulations, but most of that snow will stay off to our northwest. So as we track it out for you on future track, notice the rain pushing in. Uh, it's already starting to push in this morning. And then north of Highway 30, a few pinks showing up. That's where we could see the freezing rain. We could see a coating of ice on some of the roadways, especially the untreated roadways. Uh, so just watch out for some slick roads this morning. Otherwise, as we start to make our way through the afternoon, our temperatures will warm up into the 40s. We'll see mainly rain showers and about a 100% chance for that heading into the afternoon with a few different waves, one through today and then another wave moving in for late this evening. These showers could be on the heavier side and we could even see a few isolated thunderstorms in here. You see that by 10 p.m. It's really just covering all of eastern Iowa. It continues through the overnight hours and then begins to taper off by Sunday morning. And then really we just see some drier air pushing in. So really just looking at cloudy skies for most of Sunday as that snow remains off to the west. So temperature is still pretty mild for today. Low 40s to low 50s with an east southeast wind 5 to 15 miles per hour. Again, about a 100% chance for rain. Good day to stay inside. And then for tonight, our temperatures actually continue to increase as we get a stronger south wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. That rain will likely be heavier through the overnight hours and for this evening. And then city by city forecast, we will see our temperatures increasing all the way to the low to mid 50s by tomorrow morning. And then they start to fall as we get a wind shift or they will hold steady through the afternoon but we'll see a, a very small chance for an isolated shower, but most of us will see cloudy skies. And then Monday, we'll finish off the system with a chance for some light snow and minor accumulation with high temperatures in the low to mid 30s. Storm track seven day forecast windy on Monday, and it'll be fairly breezy for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Uh, temperatures will be coolest on New Year's Eve, a high of 29 with mostly cloudy skies. And then we're kind of in between partly and mostly cloudy conditions as we'll start to see our temperatures warming back up to the mid to upper 30s for most of next week.